Currently, anyone can walk into a polling place, write in your name and address, and vote under your name. The Secretary of State has affirmed on a number of occasions that there is no evidence of voter fraud. Supporters and opponents sound off on LR1CA. It would allow voters to decide on the November 2018 ballot whether Nebraska should require photo IDs at polling places. When nearly half of all Americans believe that their vote is being diluted by illegal votes, we have a serious problem. The integrity of our election system is at stake, and voter ID is a common sense solution to this problem. The sponsor of the measure says 32 other states have some form of voter ID, but others argue it would put up barriers for some voters and add cost and confusion for election workers. Think of the poll worker having to scrutinize the image and the person for a match, as well as checking for address and name listed for that precinct. I can imagine the lines piling up. Have the same effect of a poll tax that my parents had to endure in the 1940s and 50s. Opponents say the penalty for voter fraud, a class four felony with up to five years in jail and a $10,000 fine is already a deterrent. But others say you don't know how much fraud is occurring until you pass voter ID. There is a good chance we don't even know it's being committed. And this is precisely why safeguards such as requiring photo ID are necessary. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.